Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a paint with me. I haven't really done a video like this before, so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the video. So for today's paper, I'm going to be using Arches or Arch. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I will link all of the supplies that I use in this video in the description. Now this paper is 100% cotton and I don't use it very much, but I was hoping to use it for a special project kind of like this. So today I'm going to be using an assortment of brushes. I'm especially excited for this mop brush. I have not used one before and it was pretty inexpensive. Usually <laughs> mop brushes are pretty expensive. So I was able to get this in a pack along with this flat brush for about $10. I'm also going to be using these liner brushes. I actually don't use a clear one in the future. And I'm also lastly going to be using a Princeton brush. For the watercolors, I'm going to be using Mungio, I think is how it's pronounced. I actually really like these watercolors and I've been debating whether or not I should get Winsor Newton Cotman or some other more professional um, brand. but. I actually really like these and from what other people said that they're not much different and in fact they might even be a little bit better than Winsor Newton Common. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that or if you prefer Winsor Newton. So the first thing I'm going to do for this painting is a light sketch and I'm using this kneaded eraser to erase it. And before I get into actual painting, I want to talk about my inspiration for the painting. I think one of my biggest struggles in art is actually finding a reference. I don't know about you, but for some reason, whenever I decide to get into or to like jump into some sort of art project, I'm mostly intimidated by all the picture references that are out there. But this time I decided I wanted to base my painting off of a Bible verse. And so today I am basing this painting off of Psalm 42. It reads, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul thirsts for you, O God. So that was the inspiration for this painting. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And let me know what other themes that you guys like to paint or draw or Maybe even themes that you would like to see me paint or draw. And also let me know if you guys struggle with watercolor, if you use watercolor, if you love it, or if you have any struggles, please let me know in the comments and maybe I will do a video on like the biggest struggles in watercolor. So please make sure to ask questions. I really do appreciate hearing from each and every one of you. So yeah. So most of this video is going to just be calm art. I'm not going to talk your guys' ears off. So yeah, most of the video is just going to be footage and music. I really hope you guys enjoy. I will pop in here and there and maybe add a couple comments for whatever is going on. But for the most part, I hope you guys really enjoy my painting process. So if you don't know what I am doing right here. This technique is called wet on wet. It is where I wet the paper first and then let the colors all bleed together. You have to make sure that your paper is wet. If it's drying in any certain place or it's starting to dry, it's not going to have the same effect and you will get these harsh edges. Let me know if you want me to make a whole video dedicated to the wet on wet technique and there's just so many techniques in watercolor that I do think are worth sharing and if you have any problems or like if you struggle with any of the techniques then just let me know down in the comments and I will be sure to address them someday. I want to talk a little bit about what art has taught me. I really think that hobbies like this, it doesn't necessarily need to be just art, but art for me in particular has definitely taught me patience and like you really need some serious patience when working with pretty much any type of medium because it is very time consuming and if you are to rush a piece or a painting or a drawing or anything like that, 
you will most likely find yourself frustrated because it didn't turn out the way that you want it to. And because you rushed that piece now, proportions aren't right or the color isn't right or you didn't choose the right type of technique because you were rushing it. So I do want to suggest that when you are doing a painting or a drawing of any kind, please take your time. And if you need to, walk away. Just walk away from it. I have to tell myself this all the time. Just walk away. You will be so much more pleased with how it turns out in the end if you just take a break, come back later, and see maybe an issue that you didn't see before because now you have fresh eyes. Please comment down below anything that you think that art has taught you. I really would like to hear your guys' stories and just let me know. So if you're wondering what I'm doing right here, this is, um, I honestly don't know what it's called, but it's where we put a salt of some kind on the paper while the paint is still semi-wet. You don't want it too wet because it's not going to have the same effect and you don't want it too dry like right here. I think I let the paint actually dry, so I didn't know if it was going to work this time, but it did have some of the effect that I was going for. So after I let that previous layer dry, I came in with um, a technique called wet on dry. So I took wet paint and I put it over the dry paint. And I say dry, I feel like it was still kind of a little bit damp in some places because this arches paper, I don't know about you guys, but it kind of takes a while to dry. And I think it's because it's cotton paper versus a wood pulp paper. So let me know if you have experience with this type of paper. Anyway, I used the dry or the wet on dry technique to give some more detail to show some of the foliage. I'm also doing the same technique for this beige colored like dry grass. What's up, YouTube? It's back to my live stream. Anyway, back to my live stream. Oh, I was wow. talking the entire time. I hadn't realized my sister turned off the live stream, but we're back now, which is great. So, anyways, in today's video, we're painting, I believe, a deer in Ugh. the forest. <laughs>
Anyway guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And also, if you stayed this long throughout the like through the whole video, please comment a deer emoji. I really would like to know how many people actually watched till the end. And if you did watch till the end, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, amazing, and blessed day. Let me know if you want to see a tutorial on a painting like this. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.